What is going on guys, my name is Meho and welcome to your 13th WordPress theme development tutorial in which we're gonna learn something new about WordPress and uh, that would actually depend on what we are trying to do. So in the last tutorial we developed this slider right there and pretty much added the option for the user to customize the slider as well with the help of a plugin obviously. So let's see what we have to do in this tutorial so here's my PSD and as you can see we are pretty much done with these two might be some major uh, minor adjustments that could be done later on but for now we have to somehow create this sort of thing so instead of this what I could do actually is I could just create this black band sort of and could give users the ability to add their own HTML or text code right here and uh, for that pretty much obviously we don't want the users to go to the code actually the file where this code is located so what we can do instead is that uh, we can actually pretty much create a theme options right here which would allow the user to insert that thing and then we could pretty much get that thing from WordPress database or storage and uh, then echo it off on our page so that pretty much sounds cool so let's do it now first of all let me just navigate to WordPress Okay, so looks like I need to restart the sublime. Oh, okay, so I was in languages folder. This should be themes, honor theme. And uh, why not just open honor theme folder only because I don't think we're gonna need. So here we are with header index header and uh, pretty much we could do that inside in home only so I'm gonna say that uh, actually we should probably do something like this echo so that even the HTML tag is only created when Oh no, not this one actually. So here we go, a bit of indentation problem, but anyways, so what we can say in here is that uh, right there, I can say that if is home, then what I want to say is echo div ID the black banner would be here so I could probably say it like gray header banner or something like that and uh, this would keep uh, take care of our styles for this but inside this we want to echo something and this this content right here which is right there should be dynamic and that is the user should be able to edit that content from the administrator area and uh, with the help of theme options we are gonna create so for now I'm just gonna leave it blank as it is and uh, or pretty much you could say just test string sort of if you just want to do that and uh, yeah so pretty much we are done here so now let's take a look at how to create a menu a separate menu for the user so go to your functions.php and uh, what you have to do here or let me think that I shouldn't probably just pollute the functions.php so let me just create another folder here and let's just say this as templates and inside here I'm gonna create a template admin.php so this would be our admin.php template which 
we would include in our functions so I'm gonna say require once and this would be get template directory actually dot templates then function no it's actually admin.php not functions.php so here we go and you could enclose that in parentheses if you want to otherwise that is fine as well so once you have included the file you obviously want to work with it so what we have to do in here is pretty obvious and just like we did in like adding theme support menus or registering navigation menus similar sort of thing is done here as well so first of all let me just open the php tag and I'm gonna create a function named let's just say I name this function as theme admin page and I'm gonna say inside here we have something known as add menu page and as you can see the autocomplete plugin listed all the required arguments we need to supply so the first one is the page title so let's just say this is options then the menu title the menu title would be the one which probably appears right here just like settings is the menu title for now so let's just change this to theme options actually and change this one to options or basically settings that kind of looks formal then capability is actually what kind of role what kind of position of users can uh, pretty much access this so I want it to restrict to admins so I'm gonna say this is manage options and uh, then we have the menu slug and the menu slug is actually what it is I'm gonna show you so when you go to like you know sometimes what happens is that right now it's not there I cannot see that yes no not really yeah you can see that right here it shows you theme dot com slash WP admin admin dot PHP and then this page and then some sort of thing so this is a slug for this plugin and for this page so you can see that actually admin dot PHP is some sort of different file which is actually not loading right now but this is the slug which is used here so your menu page might be on similar sort of thing so for your slug let's just say this is theme option theme settings uh, let's just say this is official theme settings sort of you can just make it unique somehow then for function we need to specify a function which you want to associate with this function and that would be kinda you know how your page looks like because this function would be fired off whenever this function theme admin page is just done so let's just name it for now uh, theme in it and uh, make sure you surround that in the quotes as well then icon URL now icon URL you could just probably insert an icon there but what I'm gonna do instead and probably you could do as well is that just go to Google and type dash icons and uh, these dash icons are actually provided by WordPress itself and uh, they are pretty sweet and uh, they are kind of text based icons the ones like font awesome so they are available from WordPress dashboard only so that kind of makes a lot of sense to use so you can see that there are a lot of icons and you could pretty much pick up any one of the icons you like so let's say I'm gonna go with uh, uh, this one looks good so this would be the icon for our settings and just copy this dash icons admin settings and uh, right here inside icon URL yes you can actually add an image as well here but I'm just gonna add a 
dash icon right now so the last argument leaves us with position so what this position is actually is that where your menu would be placed so I don't remember exactly the position numbers but there's some sort of number associated so the dashboard is probably one so you see that there's a sort of gap between dashboard and post and that is because dashboard is one and this is I guess three or four then five six all the way down so for example the person who wanted to insert sliders this sort of thing before comments would have actually just calculated the position of this comments and then would added that uh, position right here in his or her own plugin to be the next number after this comment so if I write like um, 100 which would be the next number to the I guess the settings is the last 99 or something so 100 leaves me to the very bottom so if I gonna add that and I'm not gonna reload right now because we haven't done a lot of stuff so we need to create first of all another function which is the theme in it and pretty much let's just leave it blank for now and make sure you add add action then admin menu would be the argument and then you have to supply in the name of your function that is theme admin page for me and uh, now pretty much you could reload this and as you can see actually we have a sort of conflict so this uh, sort of looks a lot similar so change this to this one maybe and let me see it's for tools actually so uh, let's just make use of this one is it for something no not really so dash icons menu and uh, right here here we go and make sure you change that from settings to let's just say uh, theme or I don't know what should we name that uh, customize maybe so that might look better let's reload and as you can see we have changed this to customize and the icon is changed as well but if you can see that once I clicked on this icon it takes me to WP admin admin.php and page official theme settings so that is your slug right there so that's how you pretty much create a theme and uh, what in inside what this would be like hello and if you reload ta -da, you can see that hello is echoed out just like you wrote here and you could pretty much do like h1 settings page and close h1 because WordPress automatically takes care of stuff because WordPress has some styles already defined for you. You can see that it has all that font weight and all that stuff ready for you to work on. So you could pretty much do a lot of stuff here and then I could actually say like input type text placeholder middle text value and then pretty much you know you get the idea of what I'm gonna do right now so middle text value then whatever the user would enter and save it would automatically get displayed in here and if I reload actually we didn't do that stuff right there so theme slider saves me 1500 by 86 but uh, the images doesn't look like they are so what we can do for this is probably um, so what we can do instead here is that we can say that this is text line center background of gray and you could actually just change the background from the color picker right here you have so here we go 
easy enough and a hash and that then color white and I'm pretty sure that the color is not also white it's a sort of different color no it's white only so what we have done in here is that padding 30 pixels 0 so you could actually just margin top is minus 10 pixels well Z index is 1 2 position relative now that is a sort of hack but actually you should probably take a look why there was some sort of spacing right there and I will actually take a look once I get some time but for tutorial purpose I'm just gonna make use of the simple hack we have and for style.css we get another style added and pretty much what was my main aim for this tutorial was to create a theme panel sort of and show you guys how to do that so that's pretty much done and in the next tutorial we'll be customizing this theme panel a bit so that you know it makes more sense to you so if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching